Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE or SCPM. Now, one of the things that I see introduced in the new course is basically case study based MCQs. And that is there in every subject, okay, not only in this subject. We are here to make your job of SCMPE or SCMPM slightly simpler. I try to come out with all the videos for all the MCQs that are there in your module with detailed explanation with every logic that's possible. This helps you all not only to revise whatever you all have done, but also to know the logic of why some answer is correct and why some answer is wrong. Do consider joining our telegram channel and our group. The details are there in the description below. Also, our complete course is ready for you all to be enrolling. Once you'll be clicking okay, on the link of the course, automatically once the enrollment is done, the lectures will automatically start. Now, with that background, I am starting with this chapter, Strategic Performance Measures in for Non-Profit Sector. Now, see. Now, do remember, there are two kinds of sectors. One is a profit sector, whereby main objective is earning profit. Now, how is that organization doing? You will measure it by something. One of the ways to measure the performance of for-profit organization is basically how much profits you are earning. But what about non-profit organizations? It could be NGO. It could be, say, uh, something that the government is doing, say that keeping Taj Mahal clean. That is like, you know, a non-profit kind of a thing that these guys are doing. How do you measure the performance of this? For that, there was a concept called as value for money. Now, value for money was a model that was made for all those organizations which are not for profit organizations. Over here, the basic funda is what? The basic funda is we will try to judge these organizations not from the angle how much profit they have earned because that's not their motive only. They are here to do some specialist work. Okay, example, you know, a committee that was set up for cleaning Taj Mahal clean. So what was the objective of that committee was basically one that is Taj Mahal should be perfectly always looking superbly clean, no dust around. No, like, you know, no littering around up and so on. So, therefore, whenever the foreigners come, they all try to be thinking, yes, this is one of the wonders of the world. So, they don't have an objective of earning profit. Absolutely not. Okay. They want that the money of the public should be used for accomplishing the objective. So, therefore, for non-profit organization, there was a model that was made that was called as value for money. That actually looks at the performance from three angles. First angle is called as economy. Economy, that means, did we spend least amount of money considering quality also into account? So, therefore, economy stands for whether the appropriate quantity and quality of inputs are available at the least cost. If yes, we try to be saying we have achieved economy in this entire project. Second is efficiency. Efficiency means have you achieved highest output from the minimum input? That is nothing but efficiency. We try to measure efficiency in that way only. Where the resources and the funds available to the organization have been efficiently used. That is maximum output had been achieved from minimum input. Now, sometimes you might not be economical. Sometimes you might not be efficient also. But this last thing is most important. That is nothing but effectiveness. Effectiveness means have the organization achieved its desired mission and objectives. Coming back to the same example. Say that a committee was set up for uh, keeping Taj Mahal clean. Maybe it might not have achieved economy. We might have spent more. Might be more number of people were deployed. Okay. So therefore, efficiency was also not achieved. But in this case, is the Taj Mahal clean or not? If that is met, then we try to be saying it is okay not to be having economy and efficiency. But Effectiveness should always be there. That is, objectives of that organization should be met. I'm not saying economy and efficiency should not be there. They should also be there. But what is most important is that the objectives of the organization should be met. That is nothing but effectiveness. I've made two examples for you. Think that there is a company that has set up an old age home. Okay, try to think like that. Whereby the people can come, okay, the old people, okay, we will have like, you know, some staff to take care of them, okay. We are not trying to be doing this thing for profit. We might take some money from the people who wish to be staying, okay, but our objective is not money. So at the end of the day, even if there is net deficit, it is altogether fine because we are not here to be making profit. It is a not for 
profit organization okay how do you judge these three things economy whether the appropriate quantity and quality of inputs are available at the least cost correct so therefore one of the ways to measure that thing is that we must be hiring our staff okay to manage all the old age people so therefore are we paying them like you know less or we hired the staff at the least possible cost okay this could be a measure if suppose this was done then we can try to be saying that organization have achieved economy these are few examples there could be more examples also second one efficiency whether the resources and the funds available to the organization have been efficiently used or not that is maximum output has been achieved with minimum input one of the examples for that staff will be there to serve the people how many staff are required okay for say these many number of people so therefore old age people will be there divided by the number of staff so therefore these are the number of the old age people that per staff can serve okay or is serving if that figure is high that means our staff is efficient if suppose that figure is low we try to be saying they are not efficient okay so that's what i've written how many houses or how many patients did each staff member serve so therefore if suppose we all have say 10 as compared to similar organizations having 5 then our staff is more efficient and lastly effectiveness have the objectives of the organization been met so in that case you can try to be seeing like you know that uh, how well did the staff serve you can try to take the feedback from the old people that like you know that did our staff serve you well or not all those things you can be taking okay now this was one example of a old age home let let's try to be taking some example that you all are well aware of the government launched swachh bharat abhiyan that everybody is aware how do you judge like you know economy efficiency and effectiveness in that a smaller example economy now obviously the government will be cleaning the roads up and so on are they using cost effective methods for cleaning the roads such as employing some mechanical uh, sweepers that means not the manual one but the machines okay which consume say lesser fuel require lesser amount of the people to manage it as compared to the uh, manual methods if that is done we try to be saying we have achieved economy okay then efficiency efficiency say that like you know the vehicles which will be cleaning the roads okay are they able to clean maximum roads by consuming least amount of fuel if that is there we say that we all have achieved efficiency also okay in that root root optimization will also be there root optimization means like you know suppose one road is this one road is this you should try to be going like this directly not that go come back then again go and come back okay so try to be using the best of the route so therefore lesser amount of fuel is getting used here and lesser amount of time also to be honest okay and then effectiveness are the roads clean or not so i have written over here assessing the impact of the road cleaning activity suppose after achieving economy and efficiency we find that roads are still dirty that means effectiveness is not there that means the objectives of this bharat swachh abhiyan okay has not been a has not been accomplished okay so let's try to be seeing how well the roads have been cleaned that will be nothing but effectiveness now after these two examples let's go over to the case study based question that i have today for you so this case study based question is all about a healthcare company so abc healthcare is non profit organization that provides medical services to under privileged population of the developing country okay it could be say india india is a developing country the organization was established 10 years ago and has been successful in providing quality healthcare services to thousands of people who cannot be affording it perfect abc healthcare places great importance on value for money that's a concept that i introduced which is reflected in efficient use of the resources and effective delivery of healthcare services the organization implemented several measures to ensure that it is providing value for money including now there are around 7 to 8 points okay whenever i read one point we try to be thinking is it efficiency is it economy is it effectiveness okay now one small thing there were there were other two e's also that were added you have economy efficiency and effectiveness two more were added are you ethical or not that e was also added and are you uh, spending the funds with the principle of equity or not okay 
So keep these two things in mind. Although this question is mainly about the three E's that we all have done. Okay. So point number one, ABC Healthcare implemented a cost effective model for healthcare delivery, which allowed it to keep the cost of medical services low. In addition, ABC negotiated discounts with the suppliers for medical equipment and supplies enabling it to reduce its operating cost. Now, I think so that this point number one should be coming under economy. They all have mentioned two times like, you know, we have a cost effective model. So therefore our costs are low and we negotiate with the uh, suppliers of the medicines and medical equipment that helps us to keep our cost low. So therefore point number one, I'll place under the economy head. Okay. This is the first one. Let's go over to the next one. Keep these things in mind. Point number one is of economy. Point number two, MCQs, we all have not started, but I'm taking it point by point. ABC Healthcare created a streamlined healthcare delivery process to reduce the wait time and to ensure that patients receive prompt and efficient medical attention. I guess efficient word clarifies this particular thing that now we have a delivery process which reduces the amount of wait time. So therefore we become more efficient and to ensure that the patients receive prompt and efficient medical aid. How good is that medical attention that will come under effectiveness? Okay, but we try to give them the medical treatment as fast as possible. So therefore that should be coming under efficiency. So it should be efficiency for them. Further, ABC introduced digital medical records to reduce paperwork and admin costs. Now, instead of the manual records, now in this case, we all have converted all the manual records into the digital records. I guess that will do two things for us. It will reduce our cost for sure. And second thing, I think so, it will help us to retrieve the documents that we want faster. We'll become more efficient by that. Yeah. So therefore, this should be coming under economy and efficiency both. Okay. Yeah. Further. Point number four, ABC Healthcare appointed a team of highly qualified experienced medical professionals, ensuring that patients receive quality medical healthcare. Okay. Further, ABC was also engaged in various preventive healthcare programs to reduce the incidence of diseases. Now, this is a classic case of effectiveness. See, you are here for what? You are here for, you have even if you read the top line of this entire screen, you all will understand that why did we establish ourselves? We establish ourselves to provide good quality medical healthcare services to our patients. And that is why we have highly qualified people, who means doctors, okay, who will give quality healthcare. So therefore, this will ensure that the objectives of this organization are met. So therefore, whenever anything that measures whether the objectives are met or not should be part of effective this funda. Okay, so this should be coming under effectiveness further. Recently, ABC has entered into various agreements with several international organizations, enabling it to provide specialized medical services to the patients with complex medical conditions. Again, I think this is effectiveness only. We are here for ensuring that patients get treated well. Now, we all have collaborated with some international organization that will ensure that even the complex medical conditions can be treated over here. So this will make us more effective here. So this should be coming under effectiveness further. Point number six, ABC Healthcare provided scholarships to 100 medical students in the past year, ensuring that there is a pipeline of highly qualified medical professionals to serve the population of the future. In the same year, ABC Healthcare served more than 50,000 patients. Now, we are trying to have interns, so we try to provide the scholarship to the medical students. Later on, these guys will only become the doctors and they will be highly qualified medical professionals. Okay, this will ensure that our patients will be getting the best treatment. And this is reflected by last year alone, we serve more than 50,000 patients. So therefore, I guess again, that will measure whether the objectives of the organization are met or not. We should be trying to be serving as many patients as possible. So therefore, this should also be coming under effectiveness. Then seven, ABC Healthcare operates with the highest ethical standards, ensuring that the patient privacy is protected. Okay, and the medical procedures are conducted in safe and responsible manner. For this, ABC Healthcare established a code of conduct for its employees, ensuring that they uphold the ethical standards in aspect of their work. Now, this point is itself reflection of their ethics. Ethics was another E that was added. Okay, so I'll not go much into the debate. This entire point only talks of the ethics as such. Okay, so therefore, this should be ethics over here further. 
Point number eight, ABC Healthcare provides a medical services to all the patients regarding of their ability to pay, ensuring that everyone has access to the quality healthcare services. In the last year, ABC conducted several community outreach programs to provide medical services to un underserved populations in the rural areas. Again, I think this is exactly in tally with their objectives only. Okay, their objectives was to provide medical healthcare irrespective of like you know cast up and so on okay that's what this point also tries to be saying so therefore this should also be coming as part of effectiveness okay so eight points i am just trying to have a summary of all of them over here so therefore these were the eight points point number one was about economy point number two was about efficiency point number three economy and efficiency both four five six and eight was effectiveness seven was ethics now let's come over to the mcqs that ica has asked us okay most of them will be easy now what is the example of efficiency measure in abc healthcare now out of the all the points i guess efficiency was in the delivery or something okay let's just try to be seeing the four options beta streamlining healthcare delivery process Okay. Second, hiring highly qualified medical professionals. This was under that effectiveness. Then, establishing partnership with international organization. Again, under effectiveness. Providing medical services to all the patients regarding of their ability to pay. Again, this was under effectiveness. So, answer I guess was A. I discussed it before also in the relevant point. So, therefore, answer should be A over here. That is the correct point. In case I forget to say, please comment. The moment you see the question, please comment yourself. Further, part B, what is the example of economy and efficiency measure in ABC healthcare? Okay, I think that uh, digital records was supposed to be the answer. Specializing in complex medical condition that comes under effectiveness. Then hiring highly qualified medical professional that also comes under effectiveness. Implementing a digital medical record system. I guess this was economy and efficiency. I think so. D, providing medical services to all the patients regarding of, regardless of their ability to pay. This was also under effectiveness. So answer was C over here. C, that is the correct answer. Okay, this was the second point, third point. Which of the following is not related to effectiveness measure in ABC healthcare? So which of them is not related to effectiveness? Okay. Programs to reduce incidence of diseases. This is 100% related to effectiveness. Further. Specializing in complex medical condition, 100% related to effectiveness. Third, third is hiring highly qualified medical professionals, 100% related to eff uh, effectiveness. In fact, we discussed this also. And lastly, streamlining healthcare delivery process. This was related to economy and efficiency. Okay. Uh, this was related to efficiency, I guess. So therefore, D is not your answer. Okay. So means D is not related to effectiveness. So answer should be D only because we have to be pointing out which of them is not related to effectiveness. So answer should be D over here. Yeah, that is the correct one. Further, which of the following measures has ABC Healthcare implemented to ensure economy? Okay. Economy, there were two points. I'll read it. Establishing a team of highly qualified medical profession. No, this is related to effectiveness, Peter. Second one, negotiated discount rates with the suppliers for medical equipment and supplies. I guess this was economy funda. Then third one, conducted community outreach programs. Okay, this was again effectiveness. D, implemented a code of conduct. This was ethics, I guess. Okay, so I guess you all know the answer. You can comment below. In any case, answer should be B over here. We discounted, we uh, negotiated the rates for discounts. So answer should be B over here. Further, how has ABC Healthcare established ethics in its operations? Okay. So by providing medical services to underserved populations in rural areas. That is not ethic, that is effectiveness, beta. By implementing community outreach programs. Again, that is effectiveness. Then third one, by establishing a code of conduct for all its employees. That was what we all discussed also. So answer should be C. But D is what? By implementing preventive healthcare programs. Again, that is effectiveness only. So A, B and D are related to effectiveness. So answer should be C over here. So in any case, answer is C. That should be the correct one. Okay. I guess with that, this entire question is altogether done. Please ensure that whenever you are watching such videos, I say the four options. You try to pause the video. 
you try to comment on that is whatever will give you good confidence in answering such questions okay i'll see you next time with another question like this okay till then take care happy learning bye